Hello everybody, in the, today's video we're going to look at rounding and we're going to look at rounding of whole numbers to the nearest 10, the nearest 100 and the nearest 1000. Okay, so rounding, there's a little saying that I devise with some of my tutees which is five or more raise the score And then we've got under five, take a dive. So just explain what that means. So if we're doing rounding, so we're going to start off with round to the round to the nearest 10. That's basically what that applies to, what we can slightly alter that for hundreds and thousands. So round to the nearest 10, what happens is, obviously you've got a zero, 10, and then five is in the middle. Or if you had, if you carried that on, 20, and then 15 would be in the middle. So, if you wanted to round to the nearest 10, so the numbers we'd be expecting would be 0, 10, 20, 30, etc. So, rounding to the nearest 10, if we had the number 4, it's closer, so 4 would end up as 0 because it's closer to 0 than it is to 10. If we had 6, that's closer to 10 than it is to zero, so that would end up as 10. Okay, so six goes to 10, four goes to zero. If it's on five, it's exactly halfway. So it's just as close to zero as it is to 10. So this is just the convention that was adopted by obviously some eminent mathematicians. So five will go up to 10. So in other words, if you've got 15, that will go up to 10. Yep, you spotted it. That's going down. 15 will go up to 20. So say we had 25, that would go up to 30. If we had 35, that goes up to 40. So anything in between is easy. So if we had 37, that would go up to 40. If we had 137, that would go up to 140. So what we're doing, when we're rounding to 10, we're looking at the last digit and we're saying, is it five or over, in which case we're going to go up, or is it five or under, in which case we're going to go down. Okay, so for example, let's say we had 226, that would go up to 230. If we look at that, we change it. If we had 221, we're going to change that digit to a, to a zero. But go, so that will go to 220. If it's on this one, it was six. So we've got to change this digit to the high, next highest. Okay, so just a couple more. So 151, because that's less than five, we just change that to a zero, simple enough. If we had 158, because that's more than four, five, five or over, we've got to put a zero, because it's around to the nearest 10, but we've got to change that five up to a six, so 160. Right, so that's rounding to the nearest 10. So if it was, um, if we were doing rounding to the nearest, 100, just put zeros and everything, so it would be 50 or more, raise a score, and then it would be under 50, take a dive, which doesn't rhyme, but never mind. So obviously the nearest 100 would be 100, 200, 300. That would then become zero, that would stay zero, that would then become 50, that would become 1000, that would be 150, that would be 200. So 
Let's get rid of those and do some rounding to the nearest hundred. So just throw out a random number. Let's throw out 27. Right, so 27 is in this block. So it's below, I'm just gonna get rid of the four and the six there and throw that pen away. Okay, actually we won't use the green because it's a bit weak anyway, so. Um, okay, so we use the blue. So we had 27. So 27 is clearly here. So that would go down to zero. If we had 49, some people make the mistake of rounding that up to 50 and then rounding up to 100. But it's under 50, so that would also go to zero. If we had 76, then that would go, it's clearly in this zone, so it goes up to 100. Right, if we had 121, that's clearly in this zone, so it'll go back down to 100. So if we had 150, it's now, it was 50, it was five or more, it's now 50 or more, raise the score. So it's 50 or more, so we're gonna go up to the next 100, which is 200. And obviously anything else in between, like for example, 171, that's clearly there, so that goes up to 200. So you can always draw this little diagram out to help you when you're doing rounding, or you just think, right, that's more than 50, so I'm gonna put it up to the next 100. And obviously if you had something like 1,171, you don't have to worry about the 1,000 bit. You only worry about that if it's 900 or something. So 1,171, the 1,000 goes in automatically, then 171 goes to 200. As I said, if you had 9,100, it still doesn't matter. What, um, yeah, so it's only if you have 9,970, this is when it's gonna matter. Because normally we just ignore that number, but because it's a nine, we're on 970, that's gonna go up to 1,000, which is 1,000, so that would go up to 10. Thousand. That's where things can get a little confusing. So just quickly look at the thousands now. So rounding to the nearest thousand, good thing I have to rub that out, I've got enough room. So it's 500 or more, we raise the score. Under 500, we take a dive. So we're now rounding to the nearest thousand, which is having trouble fitting this on now. So this would then become 2,000, 1,500, 1,500. Okay, so if we pick a number, let's say you tick a low num number like 35, well, that's in, well, it was over here. So that's obviously gonna go to zero. If we took 435, it's still in here, so that will also round to zero. If we had 501, that is clearly over 500, so we go up to 1,000. Like I said before, if you had 499, don't round it up to 500 and then go up because under 500, so that would be zero. So if we had 1,050, don't forget the, the cutoff point is 1,500. Some people get confused by that 50. So that's clearly in this range, hasn't got to the 1,500, so that would be 1,000. If we had 1,099, some people get confused because it's gonna to go to the next 100. Well, it's way under that, so that's still gonna be 1,000. 1,700 is here, so that's gonna go up to 2,000. So just a few of the thousands. So if we had 6,572, we don't really worry about the 72 bit, that doesn't do a lot. It's just this five, because that's over 500, then that's gonna go up to 7,000. If we had 7,499, again, it's under 500, so that goes down to 7,000. If we had 9,000, 
500 because it's ticked over onto 500 which is the halfway point that's going to go up to 10,000 okay so get your pens and pencils ready paper for a quick test on rounding Okay, so a few questions on rounding. So first of all, rounding to the nearest 10. So round to the nearest 10. So we're going to round to the nearest 10. We'll do 41 would go to what? And then we'll do 59. Okay, round to nearest 100, we'll do 149, we'll go 763, okay, and then round to the nearest 1000, we'll do 599, we do 9,462. Okay, so they're pretty easy to do, pretty short today. If you haven't done them though, you can pause the video because I'm now going to go through the answers. Okay, so let's go through the answers. So rounding to the nearest 10. So the answer should be, have, normally have one zero at the end. So 41, just over 40, we'll round it back to 40 because it's below 45. This one's gone over 55 but under 60, so that will round up to 60. Okay, rounding to the nearest 100, so that is between 100 and 150. It hasn't gone past 150, so it goes down to 100. This one, 763 has gone over 750, so it's going to go up to 800. Okay, rounding to the nearest 1,000. Well, that's between 500 and 1,000, so that goes up to 1,000. This is between 9,000 and 9,050. In other words, sorry, 9,000 and 9,500. It's below 9,500, so it will go down to 9,000. So well done if you got all of those right. Thank you for watching that video. And if you enjoyed that, please check out our website for more great online resources. So the address is www.routes2success11plus.uk or find us on Twitter at Roots to Success. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great videos. Thank you.